That's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Many thanks for staying with us. It's time for us to go through the papers, uh, national dailies this morning, uh, looking at the big stories. And we have Upanabon Kataria, who joins us via Zoom. Thank you so much for being part of the breakfast. Always, we appreciate your time. Thank you, Messi, and good morning, Nigerians. All right. Uh, we'll start off with the punch because uh, we have the punch in front of us and all the papers. On the punch this morning, PDP National Working Committee divided over IU and Chairman's fate and Saturn. That's what uh, is written on the punch newspaper. Underneath you have riders. I have no problem being loyal to Wike. Mackinde is quoted. Deputy National Chairman. Uh, you also find... Party in dilemma over successor if IU resigns. Spokesman says National Working Committee not divided. Again, Atiku, others receive Shakarao back to PDP today. Uh, you know, we heard of the report, uh, his return. Of course, it happens. I mean, there's really nothing that's new in our political scene. Obasa on touts national agenda. These are the riders underneath the board caption. But we still have more interesting uh, headlines this morning. Federal government rakes in 1.09 trillion naira from indirect taxes. Or tax. Uh, again, unpaid salaries, plateau, benway, on door workers. Others grown. He that works should be paid. And contributory pension asset hits 14.36 trillion naira. As the strike enters 196th day, union decides today. Uh, maybe, just maybe that strike action might be called of. Aviation sector's GDP crashes by 61% amid crisis. And you also find Libyan factional government clash, 32 killed, 159 injured. Lassa fever cases now 894,000. And Ondo Edo leads, 30,000 die of air pollution in Lagos. Hmm, that's really worrisome. Accident kills three commuters. Decry Lagos Ibadan gridlock. Accident kills three and commuters decry Lagos Ibadan gridlock. Uh, the federal government has said uh, work would actually be suspended, you know, because of the suffering that the people, uh, road users are going through. On the Nation newspaper, uh, that's uh, the next paper we have in front of us. A former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Olushegun Obasanjo. I have no preferred candidates, but national agenda. It's really interesting. I mean, I wish that could actually be a statement of everyone that lives in Nigeria, including those who are seeking, you know, political offices and trying to become governors and presidents and what have you. Imagine that everyone says national agenda is my concern. The country would be a better place. Ex-president visits Babangida, Abdusalami, and Uguayi. Uguwai, uh, on, underneath, this are the writers on, on the Nation newspaper. Federal government to block illegal diversion on Lagos Ibadan Expressway and we can uh, get Rivers PDP back in on call for IU's removal. Lagos NURTW leader killed in court clash. Uh, it's a very sad picture that made the rounds yesterday, even till this morning. On door to teachers, don't enroll your kids in private school. Really? Ask you to review six-month-old strike why government cannot ban union by Falano. Uh, Femi Falano is quoted on that. But that's it on the Nation newspaper. We have the Daily Trust newspaper as our next point of call. Brain drain, Nigerian doctors and patient ratio now 1 to 5,000. Wow. Nigerian doctors' patient ratio now 1 to 5,000. Less than 30,000 practicing. NMA uh, is quoted, that's the Nigerian Medical Association. And more planning to leave as manpower such shortage by harder. Ministers advocate instant replacement for deplete departing doctors. Really, so who, who, who are those who would be uh, replacing this doctor? Well, it's, it's a serious concern. 
And I'm hoping that there might be a policy direction, you know, to solve this problem. 63 days after Kaduna DPO kidnapped on duty and still in captivity. Aviation crisis unresolved despite $256 million released to foreign airlines. Inara won't take over financial services of commercial banks, that's what the CBN director is saying. And why Kwankoso B Alliance collapsed, Professor Al Kali, who's also left, you know, uh, uh, the NNPP. Bandits abduct eight farmers in federal capital territory. These are the headlines on the Daily Trust newspaper uh, this morning. But just before we have Okunabon Kataria share his thoughts on some of the big headlines, we have the Daily Sun newspaper as well. Crisis brews in Tunubu's camp. Crisis brews in Tunubu's campaign as a Damu's men alleged neglect. Uh, that's the bold caption, accuse APC candidates of denying party chairs access to campaign council's list. Oh, well. NDLEA nabs Lagos Airport cleaner who leads a drug syndicate. Uh, that picture also made the rounds over the weekend, yesterday, and even to this morning. Thousands match in Onicha in support of Peter Obi. And Lagos missing teenage girl reunites with family in Bauchi. Atiku Ayu orders for Shakarao's defection in Kanu today. Uh, he's left, uh, uh, you know, the party. I mean, the, the, the camping seemed to be the order of the day, has always been. 2023 poor, Nigeria needs God fearing president, says Khan. And fl flood renders hundreds of Makadi resident homeless. Uh, the former president, Olisha Gunabasanjo, confers with IBB Abdus Salami. Says he has no preferred presidential candidate. Author Aze insists he gave loan to Andy Uba, 50 million naira saga. It's a long going. Uh, PDP crisis stalls composition of campaign council neck meetings. These are the headlines on the Daily Sun newspaper this morning. Okunabon Katara, uh, it's on right now. Thank you so much uh, for being part of the breakfast. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm. What, what do you make of uh, the former president's thoughts about having a national interest and no preferred candidate ahead of the 2023 presidential election? In those are uh, the variations. It's just been economical with the truth. We all know that uh, um, performer president of passenger is a very strong supporter of uh, Peter B. Nevertheless, even if we analyze his statement, give it a surface analysis, national agenda is not a human being. National agenda can only be driven by human beings. And when we talk of national agenda, what Mr. Uh, what uh, Obasanjo is trying to do, eventually, what will happen is that we will see the national agenda he's talking about can only be driven by Mr. A. Therefore, let us vote, let us support and vote for Mr. A. Already he has a candidate in mind. So the issue of uh, if there is no preferred candidate, it has to do with that. It's not an agenda contesting any election. It's not an agenda human being. That agenda is just an ideology. It's not a human being. It's not contested. Somebody has to drive it. So who are you supporting to drive it? It's just preparing the minds of people, that's all. Uh, but you, you have, you've, you've said that... Uh... Uh, he's a strong supporter of Peter Obi. My next question to you is, how is he a strong supporter? Because uh, he hasn't really come out to say, uh, I'm supporting X, Y, Z. Well, well yes, in the, in the realm of uh, conjecture, speculations. Uh, speculations, I don't think not facts. Among the presidential candidates, I don't think uh, if you ask any Nigerian today, and one of you comments, statements from your passenger himself, you know, the things he has said about Peter Obi, he has never really said such things about any other presidential candidate when he extolled the virtues of Peter Obi. 
Obasanjo has never really extolled the debt. Even the article has been slated by Obasanjo. Uh, it's talk of Tinubu, you all know. He has made some very uncomplimentary remarks about Tinubu. But he has never in any way excoriated P2B. And he has always said that P2B has what it takes to be the president of the country. You know, these are insinuations. These are innuendos. innuendos. And people will have to extrapolate from your comments uh, to arrive at a conclusion. The conclusion might be wrong. Yes. But the truth is, that's why we are human beings. Our ability to decipher read in between the lines. At the end of the day, we might be wrong. But I, for those who know who a passenger is, like I said, he's only preparing the path. He will tell you, now he's talking about national agenda. They will tell you that the person I believe can drive, even if it's not P2B, he already has a candidate. There is hardly anybody in this country today that does not know who the person is going to vote for. Opinions might change, but as we speak, everybody knows who that person is going to vote for. But tomorrow, you might, for one reason or other, probably the person has done something that contradicts your principle or something, and you might have a change of mind. No doubt, these things happen. I mean, change uh, 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 life is dynamic. Having said this, a passenger has in mind who will be his candidate. He already has a preferred candidate because you are not going to have any presidential, new presidential candidate, no new candidate will emerge. So he already has his candidate. They've all said what they are going to do for the country. More or less, they sold their manifesto. Sorry? So, I think that logically you're right when you say that he has his preferred candidate because everyone should have their preferred candidate. But he's not outrightly said who his preferred candidate is. And he has also so said... Like I just said, I said we glean. I said we glean. And uh, uh, Messi, you're in the studio today. There are certain things, you know, you have what you call verbal and non-verbal communication. There are certain things you do and I can extrapolate from your answer. That's the understand. truth about it. Even your face. <laughs> I can tell if you've eaten or not. Now, that would be a conjecture. I might be wrong. I might say she has not eaten. No, you've eaten, but something else is disturbing you. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So, that is it. That is the point I'm making. I, we might be right. We might be wrong. It's a conjecture. So, a, a lot of us believe that our passenger is giving his support to um, Peter B. No, that, that's, that's the belief. I, if you ask the majority of Nigerians, they will tell you, the numerical majority will tell you that a passenger is a bit of But you might, a passenger is a man that is full of surprises too. He might come out tomorrow. A passenger can even come out tomorrow to condemn everyone. He's right. full of surprises, you know. But one thing about him is that once he has, he gives you support, he goes all out. That's one thing about it. But as I speak, I cannot say 100% is a Like I, 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 I keep saying, it's a conjecture. And a very strong one at that. They might change. They might, at the end of the day, I don't have any preferred candidate. You know, a passenger is, is, is not, I mean, it is it's an embodiment of contradiction. That's everybody knows. All right, let's look at the Daily Trust newspaper here. It talks about the brain drain and the fact that the Nigeria's doctor patient ratio is now 1 is to 5,000. Prior to this time, the WHO had recommended 1 is to 600. So we're looking at one patient be, uh, being attended to, uh, you know, one doctor attending to 600 patients. And now the case that we're faced with is one doctor attending to 500 patients. 5,000, I beg your pardon, <laughs> patients. What do you make of this, uh, you know, deficiency? As frightening as it is, first, even if you have the doctor, where are the equipment? That is number one. Now, let us even say, okay, fine, you don't have the equipment, but they could save life. Probably at least save the life of uh, those that can be saved. But every facet of the economy, every segment is anemic in this country. You talk of Dr. Green's strike for 
a federal government reneging on an agreement it reached with the top country. These are persons that save lives. They also have responsibilities. Yes, they have this hypocritical oath. They are meant to save lives no matter the circumstance. But for you to save life, you also have to save your own life. A doctor that is in coma cannot save life. A doctor that has lots of problems. In fact, a doctor whose wife is in coma is himself a threat to life. Because he might not be mentally composed to treat a patient. He's a human being and is prone to that human fruit. A doctor whose child has just been sent out of school will be thinking more of how to get that child back to school than that hospital we are talking about and the patients. It's a portmanteau of issues. Now, let's just say if they, 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 they rush a patient to a hospital. There is an emergency rush a patient to a hospital. And that doctor is supposed to be at desk at eight. This is hypothetical. And his son has to go back to school. Is looking for this is a trained man, a, a professional, a medical doctor. You are not talking about somebody who didn't go to school simply because he's working for the government. His son has to go back to school but cannot go back to school because of money. Do you think the doctor will go to that hospital where his salary will be owed and so on and where even the working conditions are frustrating? Do you think that doctor will compromise his son's education? and go to that hospital, how will you know that they will bring somebody, they will rush somebody in an emergency? The doctor will go and look for money to send his child back to school. So, it has a is a portmanteau of issues. Then you have the issue of facilities. You know how frustrating it is, mercy, that you walk into that studio and your microphones are not working. Or the microphones are glitching. They are working, but they are glitching. You know how frustrating it could be. You know how frustrating. You apologized this morning for starting with. You know how frustrating. In fact, for only me, my brother is supposed to come on air. Oh, I was already God. getting angry. I said, what is wrong? Now, what is wrong with us? Uh, it's, a, it's a good what thing. What is wrong with us? Okunabo, I feel like you're just putting me on the <laughs> spot. It's like you're about to slaughter me. <laughs> It's okay. No, but, 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 but I'm sure. I'll, I'm I'll, sure. Be, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be the first to protect you. So I know that. I know you're kidding. I know. Well, I of know course, of course, it's a good thing <laughs> yeah. that, that so, apology so, came out. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. I mean, I I shouldn't expect anything less from a lady like you. So <laughs> we call we call all the female people, but there are ladies and there are ladies. Anyway, let's leave that. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, so the point I'm trying to make is when even the working condition, we are not even talking of salaries now, when the working condition is poor, this happening, I do expect a doctor to give him his best. You see a doctor who is a cardiologist who has practiced all his life in Nigeria. Are you going to compare such a medical practitioner with the one in London and America, if they give him one of these, uh, I'm talking about the one that practices in Nigeria that has not let the come to the shops. If they give him uh, one machine to the he cannot. L let's let's stay with the issue the now. The major thing, one second, the major thing is financial pecuniary remuneration. My dear, you went to school, your aim is to get a better life, live a better life, enjoy yourself. That was why you spend a number of years in school. And that also explains the profession you have decided to go into. So a doctor will not spend six, seven years, as the case may be, depending on the university, come out, a room is paid, his uh, accommodation is not provided for, even when it's provided for, it's not very really fit to uh, uh, keep rats and rabbits. Everything is frustrating. And he has a better chance out there. My dear, we all live for greener pastures. He's definitely going to leave. And the federal government is not even bothered. Now, even the Guare himself has acknowledged this fact. That is why he also lives for London. So if Guare can leave for London, 
And most times when they leave, they get treated by Nigerian doctors. And they get paid immediately, not like here, where they say, I pay you tomorrow, when they pay me salary, I pay you, when they give me money, I give you that. When there are all kinds of stories. Or when you go, there are medical centers that become prescription centers. Hospitals become prescription except the private ones. And the private ones are ex extremely, are, are, are very expensive. Very expensive. And how many private hospitals do we have that will employ all the doctors that have been turned out? So they leave. And even the private hospitals, only the MDs, the medical directors enjoy. Yes, they will pay the doctors the salaries, but how much? How much? That's the truth. Peanuts. A doctor, the are two doctors graduate from a university. One is earning, let's say, 500,000, which is, which is stratospheric. But let's just say 500,000. How can you pay a fresh at 500? It's not, it's not in Nigeria now. Let's say 500,000 naira. His next abroad, when you did exchange rates, is earning close to about 1.5 million naira with better uh, condition of service. By the way, you have your you live. This is not America where yeah, you think you think what you can do for America and not what America can do for you. All right, Dr. Nabonketa. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Let's move away from that uh, yeah. issue now because we have other interesting headlines on the pages of a national daily list this yeah. morning. So it's a two-in-one. First is off the, uh, this is on the Daily Sun newspaper, the crisis in Tunubu's camp as Adamu's men allege, you know, some sort of neglect. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, there's an accusation that the APC candidate uh, is denying the party chair access to the campaign cancer's list. That's on the one hand. And on the other hand, you also have that the PDP and the National Working Committee are divided over IU's chair's fate and uh, there's uncertainty. I mean, we also know, uh, you know, the issue of his resignation and not resignation. Uh, but but what, what, what do you make of this uh, parties now? These are uh, leading parties no we're talking about we're talking about the fact that we're talking about the issue of division or uh, i know we're going to start with i i have are you talking about them no i i it's a two in it's just a one question but of course i, I just cited two instances okay and double barrel question a double barrel question okay yes okay. my concern first is, and foremost go ahead first and foremost Adamu should know that there is no sportsmanship in our politics in this country. In this country, there is no opponent. There is, you are an enemy. Once we reason a tangent, once I'm a to your to your uh, emergence, and you eventually emerge, you are, you are going to be my enemy because I was opposed to it. Even if you don't emerge. I will remain your enemy until you have a mediator that will come in. That is sadly the psychology of our politicians. And as far as Tinubu is concerned, Adamu did not want him to emerge. And from that point, and don't forget, there are so many politicians that have been victims. Tinubu himself did not even hide it. When he turned that, that he was going to fight death. When a man tells you he is going to fight death, a man at that level, I'm not talking about him, but the fact out, he is going to fight death. That will tell you the kind of person he is. And that's the problem I'm having with certain comments being made by certain governors. Because you assume a particular office and you choose the right word from the word bastard. You're a role model. There are certain things you don't say. Because the younger ones will say nothing wrong in saying that. And that is why you have moral decadence in the society. In terms of speech, in terms of dressing, in terms of, now you sad. And people see nothing wrong with sagging. And I ask the Nigerians, I say, you look at musicians, it's like their uniform. When you see Michael Jackson, when you saw Michael Jackson in court, he was well dressed in his suit. But on stage, he wore all those whatever beats are like the women will dress. It's like a lawyer going to court in wig and gown. Does not mean he's going to go to party in wig and gown. 
And I have him relaxing an Obama or a Clinton dress in such manner. Now, I don't digress a bit to bolster my point. The point I'm making is, Adamu should have known that he is not going to be welcome in Tinubu's camp because Tinubu believes that Adamu played no role in his emergence, that it was on his own team that he emerged. And so he's not obligated to work with Adamu. Adamu is only there for now because Tinubu is not the head of the party. The factor ahead of the party. Adamu could be the de jure head, but Tinubu is the factor ahead. Adamu is only there as a title ahead. And even all those that will join the Tinubu scam will become like second citizens in that camp. Those that will be fully in control of their affairs and activity are those that we are within up to the point he emerged. Those are going to be his team tag. So Adamu should not complain. Nevertheless, I'll enjoin Tinibu that in, he has to carry everybody along because whatever he does now will tell us what he's going to do if he eventually emerges as the president of this country. I don't want to add, God forbid, I don't want to add that. Now, so, so my concern here is, <laughs> do you think that with the cracks that's going on and, you know, the rancor, uh, that's going on in the PDP and the APC, it might have an implication uh, for them ahead of the 2023 elections. I, if, if, if I can also guess, if I can glean, if it is going to have a positive or negative effect on P2P, because there are just three major if I can glean, that's why I said even the passengers will keep guessing this context. So if you don't come out straight, we'll leave us in the realm of conjecture. Now, the truth about it is that the pit of this engine is cancer and the masses on the highway. If that, if that, if, 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 if that is what you, you, you want to hear. Because with or without the cracks in these political parties, the pit of it is like a movement right now. Yes, it, it's going to have this prodigious heel of challenges. But Definitely, it's like a beautiful lady, quite curvaceous. Only those that have the mind will dare to chase. And that is what Peter B has done. Whether there are cracks or not, Peter B remains a force in this struggle. Whether there are cracks or not, Peter B has the chances of peeping the other candidates at the polls. Now, what the cracks will do is just to enhance, potentiate his victory. But his, at this point, you cannot dismiss a people. Talking of the PDP, I think it's just an illicit intercourse between arrogance and power. I cannot comprehend why anybody will call for the sack of the national channel right now. That's why I said that illicit intercourse between arrogance and power. What I say must happen. And at this point, you maximize the minimum. What is the minimum? Egocentricity. What is, I minimize the maximum. What is the maximum? Picture the post. Have you thought of the effect this is going to have on the chances of the PDP? Should IU be an issue? It should not be an issue. Even the negotiation, as far as I'm concerned, at this point in time is nugatory. It's completely worthless. If both sides will tell themselves the truth, because whatever happens there is going to be cosmetic. Okay. Even if you tell a chico today to sign that I will run one time. At the expiration of that time, I got to treat him out. If he wants to run again. What, what, what are you going to do? And as an actor, you're already out of office. Now, quickly, because we, that we have it to... to exit that seat. Your followership has dropped. Look at right now, right? The followership. A lot of them have moved to practical side. And I think we tell you, yes. I'm going to, I, I agree. I signed one time. At the expiration of that time, no. Are you going to say that you don't run again? You have pushed you to a point where there is no longer trust. 
And all I think he's doing right now is to he was he was trying to do is to stoop to conquer. That's all he's doing. There cannot be any genuine reconciliation out of this. Because egos have been bruised. So it's either you're fighting a to the last or forget it. Because if it's eventually in medicine, it's like Obasanja and Atiku. Obasanja and Atiku were living there before Atiku. And when he went back, what happened? We also want to run witnesses to what happened in this country. So, I tell you that if today there is any reconciliation, and eventually it's about Atiku and he wins. So that is. He will not forget. He will deal with you. He's also a fighter. He will deal with you. So this is all all these reconciliations. It's either you're genuinely reconciling, and even if you're genuinely reconciling, I think we will have to that genuineness. He will impugn it because of what has happened to us now. Okay. Uh, and you're not going to any office. So you say he has no need for you. That's the truth about it. So this is your reconciliation. Because no, if you reconcile today, it's even in the interest of Atiku. If today they say you should go, I don't think that you don't, anybody will say you should go. I don't think so. First, he's elected to remain there for four years. But, but, we, we, but we, all of this is going on. Uh, I mean, will this not further divide the party? And would it not if, you know, affect their chances of uh, winning the election? It, it might widen. It might widen. It might widen. No, 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 no. We talk about chances. Even if you lose a voter, it affects your chance. Isn't it? Is. No politician wants to lose a voter. So no politician will tell you it will not lose it will, uh, uh, it will not lose me my pick. No politician will tell you that. But the truth about it is messy. It's simple. We are lost. I mean, we are won without River State. Good luck, you are lost with River State. Now they are going to argue Rivers cannot make us. I agree. Lagos, the Ozone Place, are already Tinubu? Kano, you are not too sure. Who told you that? <coughs> Excuse me. We all saw what happened in us. Now, even if you talk of river states, maybe PDP lost in two other states in previous elections and one river state. Who, 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 who told you that PDP might not win in those two other states and lose, still, and lose river states? They just want us. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. They just want us. So, the issue of river states, yes, it's a desiderado. No doubt about that. That is important. But it is not a must. It is not a must. And I think himself and his followers have made insinuated, they've made all these comments. But being a politician, a seasoned politician, he doesn't want to heat up the policy. And that's why I say, no, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Don't talk. Why have you not asked your people, even those from river states, who have come to pledge loyalty, why have you not said, no, I want peace, genuinely, go back and reconcile with your governor? No, he still keeps there. Because he wants 25%. And he believes they can deliver. That's why I'm saying, this reconciliation, reconciliation is just cosmetic. It's just, let me try my best. If it works, fine. If it doesn't work, fine. But I don't see anybody as being indispensable. That is his attitude right now. And I believe that this issue of even going to talk, a lot of people would have bothered him wrong. But that is for a long while, he didn't bother. He was, he, he was, he was, he was apathetic. He was, he was, he was, uh, uh, there, there was this lack at He was not really interested. So, I don't think it's wise for anybody to talk of conditions right now. It's not wise. Because the condition is not binding. At the end of the day, okay, we'll put it in the right what will And eventually I become the president. Then you now go to court that we agree that you're going to serve one term. And you think that is justice the court will listen to such nonsense? And if the court will not listen to such nonsense, then where, where will you go to? Are you going to now tell Nigeria that look at what he said? No. So uh, next year, the uh, election, no vote for him. They'll even kick you because you're no longer enough. They don't kick you out. You know Nigerians. Once a man is in power, everything he does is correct. He's next to God. Once he's out of power, oh, forget him. He's worse than Lucifer. That's, that's the politics of today, of this country. All right, and... Uh, so the issue of reconciliation, Toby, as far as I'm concerned, it's practical for now. Practical. 
it has gone beyond redemption. And if eventually they reconcile, I, 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 I think we will, will, will be the better for it. All right. Because I don't see him genuinely taking over, reintegrating a weekend after what has happened. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's take a look at, you know, Professor Kali, who, who dumped the SDP sometime, you know, in 2021. Well, in 2022, uh, he moved from the SDP. Of course, he joined the NN, you know, the NNPP, uh, and now he's set to join the PDP. Don't, don't cut your tongue, <laughs> He said to join the PDP. <laughs> but what do you make of this? I mean, just as we inch closer, one would think that at this point, uh, the issue of defection would be, uh, you know, a thing of the past. We're getting. Very but I just, close if, to yeah, I, if, 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 I, I told you something. I told you, even when I was discussing the passing the issue, I told you something. And even when I was trying to analyze, I said, we all have candidates right now. Except something will make us change our minds. Even you, Messi, you have a candidate. If you don't have a candidate, then it simply means you've also said all those that are contesting, I don't see anybody that's worth my vote. If you don't have that inclination, then you definitely have a candidate. That's the truth about it. We all have our preferences right now. Yes. But that does not that, that is not cast of stone. Because even two days to the election, if I find that my candidate running mad on the road, I can't vote for him again. Uh -huh. That's but, what but, but, but what do you make of him? I mean, his case, his case is very, you know, very, very, how do you even say it now? The word is, his case is very apt. I mean, once upon a time, just within the space of how many months, he was in the SDP, he left the SDP, you know, to join the NMPP. <laughs> and now from the NMPP, he said to join the PDP. And he also mentioned the reason why uh, the alliance with the NNPP and that of the Labour Party did not happen because the NNPP had, uh, you know, the Labour Party had come up with a, some level of uh, superior uh, party on the table, feeling very superior in terms of the negotiation, and that was the reason for it. But what do you make of his movement? What exactly is he looking for? <laughs> Relevance. Political hardom. That's what I call it. I don't want to use you know, a whore. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. Uh, that's not I, a good, I don't that's use the other word. word. Uh, Political hardom. No, no, no. It's, it's right. It's, it's, it's used anywhere in the world. Mm. Political hardom. Uh, that is what I mean. Is politicians who prostitute politically. And mm, mm -hmm. cringe, cringe for that. Mm. Politicians <laughs> who prostitute politically. That's why I say that's why I my political order. Now they do so principally for their own interest, not the interest. And no party has an ideology in this country, Messi. So nobody should come and talk of ideology. And don't go and excoriate a member for defecting from one party to the other party. Even the president, when he was reminded of the party's manifesto, he said I was not part of that manifesto. I don't know anything about manifesto. On earth. No party. They follow individuals, not ideology. Otherwise, you can't be moving from one party to the other. It's all about interest. So definitely, Akali's interest was not protected in these other political parties. So he has to go to a party. And that when you have to defend, you come up with reasons. No, don't bother about the reasonableness in the excuses they give. Don't bother about that. Most of them are special. So you must give an excuse. You must give an excuse. You cannot just get up to say, in that case, you have a mental problem now. This morning, you're in labor. Now, tomorrow, you're in PDP. Next week, you're in APC. Why are you leaving the party? I feel like leaving the party. Then you have a mental problem. You have to give an excuse. Okay, well, Thank no you problem. so much. You now instigate a problem. Even when there is none, you instigate one. Mm. So that that will be an excuse to leave. Just to protect your own interest. And that is what is happening. It's as simple as not for any national agenda. Not national agenda. It's self 
agenda. All right, open a ball. We, we have to go now because we're out of time. Thank you so much for making our time. Oh, to us this morning. thank you, man. Thank you, Messi. <laughs> All right, uh, we appreciate you always. Uh, good morning to you. And that's the size of of the press this morning. We'll take a break, and when we return, we'll be looking at our first major conversation right here. But before then, let's tell you what happened today in history, being the 29th day in the month of August. Please stay with us. <laughs>